On February 6, 2023, a natural disaster struck Turkey and Syria, creating havoc in these two countries, as well as plundering Ghana into a state of despair. This was because among the victims was our very own Christian Achu, who was actively involved in the Black Stars, the national senior team. President Akufado, together with over 31 million Ghanaians, prayed for his safety as well as others stuck under debris. In about 24 hours after the incident, it appeared that the prayers of Ghanaians were answered as reports came that Christian Achu had been found and sent to a health facility for medical attention. This happiness was short-lived as contradictory reports emerged. Christian Achu was still missing and rescue efforts were underway. Twelve days after the incident, on February 18, 2023, the Turkish government confirmed that it had found Christian Achu, but unfortunately, he was not among the living. Today, we are at the Adrigano Ashutev, where the family, friends, sympathizers of Christian Achu have gathered to honor him. It is one week celebration. The good works of Christian Achu were sung by all who mounted the podium. Among the personalities present was founder and president of Worldwide Miracle Outreach, Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete. He eulogized the late Achu, describing him as a modest man who loved the work of God just as he loved the football field. The young man was very unassuming. And for Pastor Marlon and I, who have lived in the UK for many years, it was very exciting for us to have seen a Dangwe boy, because we hardly see Dangwe people. Somebody come from Ada or Nungo or Pram Pram or Dodoa playing soccer at that level. So it was our joy. And like Osofo rightly said, Achu was very respectful, very unassuming, but a very jovial person. Then we also picked from Achu that he was somebody who was very giving. A true will always look for people who don't have much to give to them. And I agree with yourself with what you rightly said. That is one person that in spite of the fact that he was doing well on the field, he also respected and loved the things of God. Minister for Youth and Sports, Mustafa Yusuf, the president of the Ghana Football Association, GFA, Ket Okreku, and former trade minister, Alan John Tremanting also paid respect to the family and signed the Book of Condolence. They further expressed their condolence in cash through donations. Some former players of the Black Stars, including Asamwajan, Sule Muntari, Derek Boating, Stephen Apia, and Samo Osekufo also made attendance to honor their late colleague. There were performances from cultural troops. <laughs> The Supporters Union of Ghana, as well as the Ponting T.I. Amadia SHS Cadet. And that's a beautiful cadet display by the former school of the late Christian Achu Trasam. At the end of the day's event, the Achu Trasam family announced the burial arrangement for their late son. Christian Achu will be laid to rest on March 17, 2023. The funeral rites will take place at the forecourt of the State House in Accra. Andy Obamitete, reporting for the Independent Ghana TV. Adrigano.